the Mediterranean Sea, rimmed by 46,000 kilometers of coast, has been one of the world's greatest trade routes for thousands of years. Its seabed still holds treasures of the Greek, Roman, and Egyptian empires that once ruled from its shores. Amphorae from ancient shipwrecks are scattered along the windswept coast of western Turkey, near Tectus. About 80 kilometers northwest of Sicily, the waters hold a bank of eight shipwrecks, some dating back to the Roman Empire. Archaeologists are discovering relics, including intact glass cups, polished to a cloudy transparency by the sea. As a young man, Jacques Cousteau fell in love with the Mediterranean Sea, diving among the coral reefs, finding creatures like the picky nudibranch that has a taste for only one species of sponge, the fireworm, whose white hairs can deliver a painful burn, and the green algae that turns silver when it dies. The creatures fascinated him from the artfully camouflaged Scorpina rockfish to sea urchins, with their voracious appetite for algae. These waters led Cousteau to develop the aqualung, which he said made it possible to hang attached to nothing, a dream. I often had visions of flying by extending my arms as wings. Now I flew without wings. Another icon of the Mediterranean Sea is likely the fastest fish in the ocean, the bluefin tuna, called the cheetah of the sea. No human device can exceed the tuna's amazing propulsion efficiency, fueled by a diet of small fish. But even a racing bluefin cannot escape the hooks and nets of commercial fishing aimed at satisfying the global luxury market for tuna. Seared, baked, broiled, and raw as sushi and sashimi. A single 200 kilogram tuna may be shipped to Tokyo and sold for more than 100,000 US dollars. The tunas are not alone among the sea's endangered species. The rarest and most endangered are the monk seals, which have been prized for their meat and fur, and also have been killed off by fishermen to eliminate them as competitors for fish. Today, there are fewer than 500 Mediterranean monk seals, and although they're officially protected, they may not survive. More than half a billion tons of sewage a year pour into the Mediterranean Sea, and the monk seals' homes have been displaced by human structures. Many die, tangled in fishing gear. Others are slaughtered illegally. As more people come to know about the ocean and take action to care for it, there's hope that the Mediterranean will be more than just a sea of legends. <laughs>